Hey guys, I'm Jesse Lark. I am a fairly new looper and I just got this RC505 MK2 loop station. I got it because I can send audio in and out via USB without having to plug in all these cables. Um, but when I go to use it, sometimes it's unreliable. And I'm gonna show you my setup here in the computer. I'm in my audio MIDI setup and as you can see there is no looper showing up here. I'm using a Scarlett i20 and I want to create an aggregate device. So what you're gonna do, and before we proceed, uh, before anybody on the internet is like, did you make sure you turn the power on? The power is on. Here's our USB. I'm gonna unplug it. Okay, I'm gonna replug that back in. And over here on the computer, you can see nothing is showing up yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna go to the next page. We're gonna go to USB. And in mode, you have the option of vendor or generic. We're gonna change this to generic. We're gonna give it a second. Okay, we're gonna change it back. We're gonna unplug this USB and we're gonna plug it back in. Whoa, and look at that, like magic. There's our looper. So now we can select this. We're gonna select drift correction. Now we can go along with our day. So that, that's the little trick that we stumbled upon. If you have any other tips or tricks, please share with the class in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. My name is Jesse Lark. I normally post live video performances. I sing and write music. Um, I'm not a tutorial person, but um, hopefully this was an okay tutorial and it solves your problem. Thanks for watching and good luck out there with all your looping.